Hi and welcome back to class of design of massing elements. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at Elgin Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 31, Chain Drag. The learning outcomes of this lecture is to learn the basic introductions of chain drive, terms used in chain drives, relations between pitch and pitch circle diameter and velocity ratio of chain drives. So in previous lectures we learned the design of flat well drive, wheel well drive etc. Now we have to switch on to chain drive. So we'll start the introductions chain drive. So as we uh, learn in uh, V-belt drives or flat belt drives or rock drives, we seen that there may be slip occurs. So we have seen in one belt and rock drives that the slipping may occurs. So to avoid the uh, slipping, so we have to use the chain drive. So in order to avoid slipping, the steel chain are used. You can see that uh, the figure which shows the chain drive systems and here you can see there are two sprocket uh, here in, instead of pulleys uh, here in chain drive there are sprocket and uh, the smallest sprocket is known as the pinion and largest sprocket is known as a gear. So in a, uh, it was, if you see that uh, the, both the sprocket are crooked. So sprocket and uh, chain link are con uh, constant each other. So you can see also in this chain drive there are rigid link that is known as the chain link. And this link is hinged. This link is hinged with a adjusted link. So this is the chain drive. Now the chain is. Uh, chain are made of number of rigid uh, link which are hinged together by pin joint in order to provide necessary flexibility for the wrapping down the driving and driven wheel. So you can see in figure here the chain is the, uh, made of number of Rigid link. So you can see that chain link in figure that is the one chain link and you can see that it uh, adjusted the link in the near to this link. You can see that this both link are hinged together by pin joint. So you, uh, the chain can wrap round uh, the driving and driven wheel. So you can see that the chain can wrapping around, wrapping around the driving wheel in figure. So here the smallest pocket is pinion and largest pocket is gear. Now next is the tooth wheel are known as pocket wheel or simply pocket. So you can say that you can say this uh, uh, pocket or pocket wheel. Now, the sprocket and chain are thus constrained to move together by, by without slipping and ensure the perfect velocity ratio. So, instead of pulley uh, here, the uh, tooth sprocket is used and chain and, and chain is made from rigid link and the uh, chain and the sprocket constrained together to move uh, without slipping. So we get a uh, perfect velocity ratio in chain drive. So here there are no slips, so we get the perfect velocity ratio. So that uh, uh, so the belt and drop drives limitations is overcome by the using of chain drives. But the limitation is that the chain drive is used when the center distance between pocket is small. Now. <coughs> Terminology used in chain drive. So terms used in chain drive. So consider figure as shown here. You can see that there are one tooth, tooth uh, sprocket and chain is uh, wrapped round 
on the to help well so first term c is the pitch of chain so pitch of chain is nothing but the distance between the hinge center of a link and the corresponding hinge center of the adjustant link as shown in figure you can see that if you are in the figure uh, point a shows the hinge center of one link and point b is the at a corresponding hinge center of the adjusting link so what is the pitch of chain it is nothing but the distance between hinge center of a link and corresponding hinge center of the adjusting link so here according to this configuration the pitch is the distance ab so this is shown in figure here the distance ab is nothing but the pitch of chain so next is uh term next term is the pitch circle diameter of a uh, chain socket so it is the diameter of the circle on which the hinge center of chain lies so it is what it is the diameter of circle on which the hinge center of chain lies so you can see in the, our figures there are number of dot points a b c d shows in our figure that is nothing but the hinge center of the chain uh, when chain is wrapped round on the socket pin so this is the point and then the pitch circle diameter is the diameter of uh, uh, this uh, circle when it is passing from this point so when the chain is wrapped round a socket as shown in figure so pitch circle diameter is nothing but the diameter of circles on the pitch on which the hinge center of the chain lies when chain is wrapped round on socket so you can see this uh, circle shows is the pitch circle diameter now velocity ratio of chain rise so velocity ratio of chain rise we know uh, uh, in bell rise that is vr is equal to n1 upon n2 in uh, is equal to in terms of diameter ratio now in this uh, chain rise we have to use the vr velocity ratio is equal to n1 upon n2 is equal to t2 upon t1 here uh n1 is the speed of rotation of smaller socket in rpm n2 is the speed of rotation of larger socket in rpm t1 is number of teeth on smaller socket and t2 is number of teeth on larger socket <coughs> now the average velocity of chain is given by v is equal to pi d n divided by 60 is equal to t into p into n divided by 60 so here d is the pitch circle diameter of the socket in meter and p is the pitch of chain in meter now length of chain and center distance so for that consider the figure as shown here here the smallest pocket and largest pocket is shown and uh, you can see the dot point that is the uh, hinge center of rigid link and you can see that the distance between these two hinge point that is the pitch and also you can say that the x is the center distance between the socket Okay. So let T one is a uh, number of teeth on smaller socket. T two is number of teeth on larger socket. P is the pitch of the chain, and X is the center distance. K is the number of chain link, and L is the length of chain. So according to these configurations, what we have to find. 
we have to first find the length of chain. So if we see that the length of chain, if we can consider the figure, then you can see there are a number of hinge point is uh, shown, and uh, the center, the length between this hinge point is nothing but the pitch. And we have to calculate the length of this chain. So if there are k number of chain links, then mathematically, if we see, then mathematically L is nothing but the k into p. So k here is number of chain link, and p is the pitch of a chain. So length is L is equal to k into p. Here the value of k we have to take on k is equal to t1 plus t2 divided by 2 plus 2x divided by p plus t2 minus t1 upon 2x plus 2 whole square into p divided by x. So this is the equations of number of chain link that is equal to number of chain link. So in this lectures we learn the basics of chain drives, the terminology using chain drives, velocity ratio for the chain drives and the uh, relations between pitch and pitch circle diameters and also we uh, learn the length of chain and center distance. So thank you.